right guys october 7th hunter and i are uh, headed in here running a little late this afternoon headed into the uh, small permission farm i've got there's a couple deer from last year really good uh, three and four year old deer uh, this fall that are some nice deer i actually saw one uh, the bigger of the two the four year old i think we're going to try and get hunter on when he gets his residency and we actually saw that deer probably Oh, it's probably been two weeks now, but we saw him about right here where I'm walking, so. Um, we got a couple of stands we got to get hung. We got a northeast wind that's real hot today, so. Kind of banking on these deer hitting the greens. We got, uh, this farm basically is half CRP, half alfalfa and clover, so it makes a really good early season farm, especially right now, so. With these, uh, hot temperatures, we got to think these deer are going to be hitting these greens, so. We've got a couple of sands at home. We're gonna get quiet. Hopefully, these deer come out. They've been hitting this scrape right below the tree stand. So, looking forward to this set. I think I just found a shed. Good start to the night. about 15 minutes of legal light here and we had a pretty decent night saw quite a few deer um, little buck back behind us a lot of these does out in front of us are coming from across the road and across the road is just uh, one big draw that leads to a creek you know it's just uh, picked beans all around it so yeah that's a good sign that those deer are coming from the beans to coming into this green stuff to feed so we're spot on with that but just nothing in range so Probably gonna try and get out tomorrow. I'm not real sure where we're gonna go. We may try and go on Winky's old farm. I'm still itching to get the uh, first arrow of the season bloody, so. We're gonna give her a shot tomorrow. It's probably gonna be about it for tonight, so. Looking forward to getting back out on the Winky farm. Hopefully we can fill a doe tag tomorrow. 